Using Notion for note taking is a solid choice. I like to talk. There's a reason I have a YouTube channel, but one of the main reasons I have a YouTube channel and how I like to make this informative for you guys is I talk to not only you, but AI. I talk to AI pretty often using my phone. And this is actually a part of the new ChatGPT slash OpenAI update that came to the iOS app recently that if you haven't heard about, I think it's gonna be really helpful to you. So if you type in GPT on your phone, I'm using an iOS device, and you'll notice that inside here, on the bottom right, well, there usually is this little bubble that can hear text that I'm saying, and then convert it to text and have a little chat. That's cool, right? That's some basic functionality that's existed for a while. But a really cool update is that when you press that headphones icon, I'm talking to ChatGPT and I'm curious what your thoughts are on the differences between Notion and ClickUp. So I just asked it a question. Notion and ClickUp both are great for project management and organization, but they have different strengths. Notion is really versatile. It's like a blank canvas where you can create pages and databases. It's great for notes, wikis, and personal projects. People love its flexibility and simplicity. ClickUp, on the other hand, is more focused on task management. It's feature-rich for team collaboration, time tracking, goal setting, and more detailed project management tools. It's often chosen by teams who need more complex project tracking. So if you're looking for something customizable for notes and organization, Notion is great. For more robust project management with team collaboration, ClickUp might be the better choice. What are you looking to use them? Maybe I can help you decide which one fits your needs better. I'm thinking about using Notion for note taking. So I think that helped me out. Great to hear that helped. Using Notion for note taking is a solid choice. Its flexibility allows you to organize your notes. This is wild. Create templates, add tags, and even link between different notes and pages, which is super handy if you're new to Notion. All right, so ChatGPT, you're wild for that. So I'm talking to ChatGPT right now. This interaction that I'm having with ChatGPT, as you can see, it's in the four model on my phone. It absolutely went back and forth and it showcases me talking, ChatGPT speaking, and then from there, if I press this writing icon, I can then go into the writing part of it afterwards. And you'll notice that if I click on the sidebar and click on Notion for note-taking, that this is in fact a usable conversation that I just had with it. So you can have these on the go very easily. And I went to my desktop and I actually refreshed and you'll see that there is the ability to continue this conversation. So I can say something along the lines of what is the, I can say something along the lines of what are the top three features of Notion. So this isn't just good for, you know, asking questions like this. We could also create content on the go. Imagine you're in the car and you come up with a video idea. Speaking this into ChatGPT will allow you to have a sort of like journal session while also interacting with something that can give you direct feedback, which is pretty insane. So ChatGPT can talk to me, can talk to you. I would really recommend you get this on your phone. Check out anything regarding ChatGPT that's going on. They're constantly improving the system, improving the updates that are going on. I'm just a crazy fan of this platform and how it's continuing to grow. If you like this video and want to see more content on how to improve your skills using productivity tools like this one, make sure to check out this video right here.